the class rules really quickly. Let's go through what the class rules are, Puppy. Can you tell me and tell everybody maybe one or two class rules? Yeah, good girl. So we need your cameras on, okay? Like everybody has got their camera on now. So good job, that's excellent. Um, Sam, have you got another rule for us? We do not draw a chat in the Zoom. Yeah, good job. And that's reminded me actually, I need to... Um, yeah, so we don't draw on the screen. Thank you, Sam. Another one, Moon? Wait a second, I hear. <laughs> your hand if you have a question or an answer. Good girl, yeah. So just if you want to um, ask anything or answer a question or you want to go to the toilet or get a drink of water, just raise your hand so I can see, okay? Because if we shout out, then it's, it's, it gets a little bit too crazy, okay? There's too much. So has anybody got any questions to start off the lesson? Hi. Okay, Duke, what yeah. story are we reading? My family. Good, and what's my family about so far? Uh, my family is talking what the family will do. Okay, whose family? Kamala. Yeah, good, well done. So my family is a story about a girl called um, Camilla and what she does with her family, yeah? Ray, what genre is um, my family? It is informational text. Yeah, and what does informational text mean? Means a text that gives information. Yeah, it gives information, gives true information, yeah? It tells us um, the truth about something. Good job, thank you. Um, so it's a real, real story, okay? About a real girl and her family. Okay, so to start off, you need to be on page 44, and I'm going to ask Ray, Duck, and Ben 10. You're going to read uh, the first page all together, okay? So let's start. I will read the paragraph first, and then you will copy it, okay? So you need to listen to me. I am Camilla. I live in Miami with my mother, Damaris, my father, Roberto, and my brother, Rene. My mother came from Cuba. My, my father came from Puerto Rico. I am Camelia. I live in Mina. I am Camelia. I live in I live in Miami. I live in Miami. I live in Miami. My father comes from Cuba. My father comes from Cuba. My mother comes from Cuba. Okay, listen, listen. All I asked was Ray, Duck, and Ben Ten to read. Only three people, okay? And we need to try and read at the same time. I, I want to ask um, Blue Moon a question. Does Camilla's mother and father come from the same country? No. no. Where, where does her mother come from? Where does her mother come from Cuba? Yeah. And her father comes from? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, good boy, well done. So they come from different countries. Is anybody here have parents that come from different countries? Raise your hand. My dad does come from the same country. Yeah, so lots of us My are parents. My dad come from, the, from same the same country. Okay, but some have pasta. Was that you? And me too. So a rosy milk and pasta. You three will read the next page. I will read first and then I will count one, two, three, and then you start reading, okay? So rosy milk pasta, I wanna hear you, but listen to me first. My mother and I go to school together. That's because she teaches Spanish in my school. When we are at home, I like to help her cook dinner. Okay, you ready? One, two, three, go. My mother and, and I go to school, to school together. My mother and I go to school together. When we are at home, I teach her in my school. In my school, I at home, I like to help her cook dinner. Okay. 
Cherry, can I ask you a question? Cherry, why does Camilla's mum go to school with her? Because he teaches Spanish in my school. Ah, so she's the Spanish teacher. Her mum is a Spanish teacher. Wow. So we answered that question last time. We know it's about Camilla. And then we read this page last time. Okay. For a point for your team, remember if you're team one or team two, raise your hand if you have a question about the story or about Camilla or about her family. Okay, Moon, go for it. It's Camilla. She is the people from Cuba. Um, um, uh, Puerto Rico like her father. Okay. Father. So is Camilla from Cuba like her mother? Or is she from Puerto Rico like her father? Yeah, lovely question. That's a really, really good question. I'm going to give your team a point. Well done, Moon. Thank you. Lovely question. Yeah, I wonder where she is from. Has anybody got another question? Uh, Taylor, go for it, Taylor. How is uh, Camilla brothers? Um, how old are Camilla's brothers? Is that your question? Yes. Good girl, well done. So you say, how old are Camilla's brothers? How old are Camilla's brothers? Good job, well done. Excellent question. Well done, that's a point for your team. Really good. Thank you, I like these asking questions. Okay, another point for your team. Can you remember what this thing is called? This picture that gives us information. Susu. Diagram. Good girl, well done. That's excellent, team two. A diagram, yeah. And uh, funny, what does the diagram show? What is it diagram of? What information is it giving us? It gives us who live in uh, the country. Oh, okay. It's, it's not telling us where these people live, but what is it telling us? Their name. Yeah, and is it like Camilla's friends or is it Camilla's family or what is it? Camilla friend. They're Camilla's family. So we say it's a family tree, okay? A family tree, good girl. Okay, so we've answered that question. It shows us uh, Camilla's family and we got to this uh, page last time. Okay, so Sam Jack Taylor, are you ready to read? Yes. Okay, so first remember, listen to me, and then you're going to read. Grandma came with Aunt Maria, Irene, and Victoria. Uncle Andres came with Victor and Mar Isabel. Aunt Martica, Uncle Miguel, Gabriella, and Letitia came too. Soon the house was full. Okay, there's a lot of Spanish names there, so it's quite difficult but um, I want to hear you three read in one, two, three, go. Grandma came with Aunt Maria, Aaron, and Victoria. Uncle Andres came with Victor and Isabel. Aunt Matisa, Uncle Martin, Uncle Miguel, Yeah. 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 And the house was full. Soon the house was full. Brilliant. So we've got Ma Isabel, Aunt Martica, Uncle Miguel, Gabriella, and Leticia. Yeah, very difficult names to say, but that was really good. Well done, guys. Can you tell me, Jack, who are some of her aunts? What are her aunt's names? But I don't know how to say the name. Okay, so Aunt Maria Irene and... I don't know how to say the name. Yeah, and Victoria. So they've told us, I think, two aunties there. Aunt Marie, yes. Marie Irene and Aunt Martica. Yeah? Cool. So also, Sophia, when you have... When your aunties and uncles have children... What are they to you? What are they called? Cousins. Yeah, cousins. Well done. Excellent. They're your cousins. Good. Okay. So next up we have Misha, Moon and Puppy. 
You ready? Listen to me first. We played many games. Aunt Maria Irene showed us how to play hopscotch. Little Letitia put on a crown to dance. Grandpa Rigoberto danced with cousin Ma Isabel. Okay, so one, two, three, go. We Isabel, yeah? Well done, okay. So let's have a look. So team, I'm going to go for team one to start. So Rosie, we're going to start for your team one. Um, look back at the family diagram on page 48. And how do the photos on page 50 help you know more about the family members? Who is her Who is her cousin? Grandma, grandpa, and... Yeah, so it tells you who they are, yeah, in the diagram. What do the photos show you, Rosie? What they, what they look like, yeah? So the, the uh, diagrams show you um, the information about how they are related to Camilla, and the photos show you what they look like. So you can look on the diagram and say, oh, yeah, that's Aunt Maria Isabel, yeah? So it's... It's helping you, uh, giving you more information. Good job, okay. Let's have a look at team, uh, funny. Team two, this is your chance now to get a point. Where are you? Okay, why do you think the author used photographs instead of illustrations in this story, in this selection? Can you remember about the genre? Yes. Yeah, so why do they use real pictures, photographs, and informational text? To show you that it's... Real. So can you complete this sentence here, Funny? He wanted the readers to see what the people... To see what they look like and know the story is... Informational text. Yeah, and know the story is real. Yeah? So you... They have photographs to show you what they look like and so that you know it's true. It's a real story, okay? Good job, team two. I'll give you one point. Okay, so next up we have um, Funny Susu Sophia. Ready? Listen to me and then it's your turn. Okay. On Sundays, we go to church with Grandma. Then we all go to Aunt Martica and Uncle Miguel's house. After lunch, we play music and sing. Um, okay, one, Sunday. two, three, go. On and music and sing, yeah, so, eh, ng, sing, yeah, nice, okay, um, good job, thank you, so let's go on to the next page, next up we have Cherry, Banana and Nam, okay, you ready? So listen to me first. Uncle Miguel plays the double bass. Uncle Andres plays the violin. Aunt Darlene plays the piano. Victor plays the clarinet and Ma Isabel plays the flute. One, two, three, go. Uncle plays the double bass. Uncle Andres Play the violin. And and Darlin play the piano. Victor play the play the clarinet. Clarinet. 
Aunt Mars. Yes, I will. Isabel. 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 Play the flute. Yeah, good job. Cherry and banana. Is it play the flute or plays the flute? Plays. Good girl. And can you say violin? Violin. Violin. Good, violin. So these are different musical instruments. Good job. Okay, I'm going to ask team one. Mel, what instruments does the text name? Okay, so what did the writing, the text, tell us? What instruments does the uh, Camilla's family play? Um, can you, looking at the pictures that I have on the screen, do you know what this instrument is? I think, is that Uncle Miguel? Uncle Miguel plays a double bass. Okay, so look um, here. So this is the double bass. Can you see Uncle Miguel in my picture? Yes. This is the double bass. Uncle Andres plays a violin. Darren plays the piano. Okay, so look, this is Aunt Darlene. Oh, um, there, she's there, look, the piano. And who plays the violin? Um, Victor plays the violin. So can you see Victor's playing the violin? There's Aunt Darlene yeah. there playing the piano. Yeah, and who's playing the clarinet? Clarinet. Victor plays a clarinet. Okay, say, clarinet. say clarinet. 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 Everybody say clarinet. 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 Good, okay. Who plays, who plays the flute? Clarinet. Uh, milk. Who plays the flute? Isabel plays the flute. Okay, so that's my Isabel there playing the flute. Okay, awesome, well done. So we have lots of different instruments. Okay, so well done. I'll give you a point for your team. Team two, I'm going to go to Mango. Mango, team two. There are some instruments that are not named in the tech. Okay, what are they? So can you name these instruments? I don't know the... Do you know any of those? I just know one. Okay, tell me one. A drum. Okay, it, uh, it's got a different name. Okay, let's all see who else can help you. Puppy, do you know any of these instruments, what they're called? Uh, I think one is a tuba. This one on the end, number three, you think is the tuba? Yes. Yeah. I think you're right, and there's another name, Horn, as well. Um, okay, well done. I'll give you one point for that. Okay, let's go for another person on your team. Banana? Yeah. Do you know any of these instruments? No. Okay, raise your hands if you know these instruments. You can get some points for your team. Okay, Misha, go for it. Uh, I think the yellow one is the trumpet. Trumpet? Oh, it's not a trumpet, but good guess. Anybody else? Okay, so let's have a look. We've got the maracas. Everybody say maracas. 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 played the maracas before? No. Yeah? Okay, this one, tambourine. Everybody Tam say tambourine. 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 Hands up if you played the tambourine before. Yeah. Okay. And the last one we have is horn. Horn. Okay, horn. Yeah. Hands up if you played the horn before. No. Okay, Pasta. How do you think Camilla's family feels about music? Use evidence from the words and photos to support your opinion. So you can use these sentence frames to help you answer if you wish. I think they love music. Is that what you said? Yes. Okay, keep going. And many of her relatives play instruments. Yeah. They're having... Uh, kind of like... Uh, Music party? 
Oh, oh, how do you think they feel? They look like they're having fun. They look like they are having a holiday. Ooh. Or look like they're having fun. Yeah, so maybe because on holiday you have fun. Yeah, so I think they like music. The text says they play music together and many of her relatives play instruments. They look like they're having fun in the photos. So we know that they love music, yeah? Okay, next three we have Nam, Blue Moon and Mango. Are you ready? We spend the rest of the day in the backyard. The grown-ups play dominoes while Uncle Andres tells funny stories. Gabriella and I sit on the porch and paint pictures. Okay, so Nam, Blue Moon and Mango. One, two, three, go. We spend the rest of the day in the black. What's happening to God. Blue Moon and Mango? Why no, can't I hear you? Apps play no nut. Oh, why? Uncle. Andres. Tell funny story. Stories. S, 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 Nam. Tells funny stories. Yeah. Tell funny stories. Sorry. Gas. Gabriella. Gabriella. And I sit on the porch and paint picture. Pictures. Pictures. Good boy. Well done. Okay, so Mango and Blue Moon. I can't hear you. You need to read it. Where's Blue Moon? Oh. Blue Moon? Because my iPad is out of battery. Oh, have you just plugged it in? Yes. Okay, so you can read now. Blue Moon, are you ready? Yes. Okay, one, two, three, go. We, we spend the rest of the day in the backyard. The grown up play the music while Uncle Eric tell funny stories. Oh, and sit on the pound picture. Yeah. And I sit on the pot and paint pictures. Pictures, good. Porch pictures, well done. Team one, yeah. I'm going to ask you to get a point here. Uh, Sam. Okay. Sam. Oh. What? If you look at the children and the adults, what do they do that is different? The grown-ups play domino and telling funny story and the children drawing. And the children paint the pictures. pictures. So you can see they are doing different activities, mm -hmm. yeah? Remember we say funny stories. Okay, more than one story he's telling, not just a funny story. Please remember your S's. Thank you, Sam. You get a point for your team. Well done. Team two, Ben 10. How can the reader tell from the text and from the photos that Camilla's family members love each other? Ben 10, do you know? Okay, what does their face look like in the um, photos? Do they look like they're crying and they're angry and they're uh, going crazy at each other? Okay, let's try um, Taylor. Taylor, how do you know that um, they love each other? Because uh, they play with each other. Other and they spend time with each other and they uh, feel happy. Beautiful, really nice answer. Yeah, so they're spending time together. You can see them play games, paint pictures, tell funny stories, play music. 
Ben 10, if you are angry and don't love your family members, do you play games with them and paint pictures and tell I funny stories? I tell funny stories and paint pictures, but, but <laughs> I do play, play games. Yeah, you play games because you enjoy spending time with each other, don't you? Yeah? So um, they look happy. Okay, yeah, um, Most Sam? of all, I spend my time to learn and do activities. So you do lots of activities with your family, yeah? You enjoy doing activities. If I learn Zoom, then I will go to a friend of in school and ride a bike. Okay, okay. So let's have a look, this last page. Everybody's gonna be reading this last page with me. What I like best is when Puppy takes us fishing. Most of the time, my hook gets stuck on a rock. I can't wait to catch my first fish. Okay, one, two, three, go. What I Okay, thank you. Who is Puppy? Jack, who is Puppy? Puppy is the girl in the pictures. You sure? Her oh, daddy. Yeah, her daddy. So you can say, uh, like in some countries, they say Papa, yeah, for their dad, which means dad. So she says, Puppy. My daddy is my puppy. And she might even say her mom is her mama or mommy. Let's have a look at, I'm gonna go to team two now because you've got less points. I'm going to ask Cherry. The text on page 57 just gives a little information. The photo gives a great deal more. What additional information, what more information do you get from the photo? So what can you see in the photo? What is it telling you? So you can start like this, Cherry. I can tell the mm and mm love each other. So you can say, I can tell the father or the dad and Camilla love each other. Yeah? Can you read the next sentence? can tell they live near the... Where do they live near? Look at the photo. The beach. Yeah, or the ocean, yeah? A, or a, you said a beach, or oh, a river, or a big lake would be good answers. Okay, can you read the last sentence? And I can tell it is probably nice outside by what they are. By what they are. How can you tell in the photograph that it's nice weather? Do they have a big jumper on and a woolly hat? No. No, what are they wearing? A shirt. Yeah, so you can say by what they're wearing. So I can tell that it's nice by their clothes, yeah? It's giving you information. It's giving you details, good girl. Okay. Yeah. So what you're going to do now is we have 15 minutes. I want you to take this quiz, okay? This quiz is a little bit tricky. So I want you to do it now with me, and then you can do it for homework if you want to practice it again, okay? So are you ready to go on to join my quiz? We'll do it together, yeah? So we're going to start. I'm going to start off with... Okay, Ray, are you ready? First question, Ray. Hey. Okay, after playing music on Sundays, what do Camilla and her family do? They play and talk at the, in the backyard. Good boy, well done. Okay, next one, we've got Moon. 
In this story, what do Grandma Marta and Aunt Maria Irene do? Just funny stories. Yay! Yeah. Incorrect. They tell Camilla something. Okay, next one, Duck. How do the photos in this story help the reader, Duck? Uh, oh my god. I don't know. Okay, somebody on his team, help him. Kayla, how do the photos in this story help the reader? How can I choose? Okay, can anybody help Taylor? Okay, puppy, puppy, puppy. The photo gives more details about the topic. Good girl. The photos give more details about the topic. Now I am good. They give us more information. Okay, Rosie, what does the chart on page 48 show? Family tree. Good girl. This family tree. Well done. Okay, next up is Funny. You ready, Funny? How is Letitia's dancing different from other family members' dancing? She dances in a crown. Good girl. She dances in a crown. Milk your neck. Okay. Instead of playing dominoes with the grown-ups, what do Camilla and Gabriella do? It's picture. I want to advocate. It's pictures. Yeah, Dash paint pictures. pictures. Remember the S's, paint pictures. Okay, next up we have Susu. Su Su. no, what is question. one way Camilla's parents are different? They come from different countries. Yeah, well done. Who was that? Banana. Banana, Banana. good boy. Did you What's that, Banana? No, yes, yes. Last question. Yes. yes. Okay, next up is pasta. What is different about the way Camilla's two uncles it's make it's music? They play different instruments. Who said that? I. I. Say me, but you need to say your name because I can't hear. Why did the author of this story use real photos, Sam? Like it. Oh, real people and show real people and places. Yeah. So make believe people and places, or to show real and make believe people. To show real people and places. Yeah. Like that. Okay. Next up is Sophia. Hey. How are Camilla yes, and her mom, mom different? Mom, Sophia. Last question. Her mom is the teacher. Sophia. Well done. Okay. Jack, in this story, what do Grandma Marta and Aunt Maria Irene do? Tell mommy, tell funny story. Tell funny story. No! No! It's a Hurry! Teach Camilla something! Jack, Teach Camilla something! Wow. Teach Camilla something! Whoa! Well done. Okay. Butter, all done! Okay, good. Well done, everybody. 100%! 100%! Well done! Okay, and then I'm going to count the um, points for the team. Yeah?